down a lead any better than the last 10 minutes there? No, that was really an excellent finish. It's something we've seen in spots through the season. But if you look at the, the power that Winnipeg has in their forward group, uh, the way we were able to shut down, we didn't have one scoring chance against registered in the last nine and a half or 9.45. And really proud of the way the guys managed that and stayed on our, on, you know, we stayed on our toes and, uh, and really JJ had set up the game to make that possible in the first place. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great team effort taking those points home. You're also proud of the way they handled this weekend. It's pretty tough. There's, you know, there's the distraction of the deadline where you guys are out of the standings yeah. and they seem to have handled it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, the last few weeks of overall, we've been we've been pretty close to the game we want to play. But, you know, it, it, it really was uh, a test for us mentally, uh, you know, coming coming back from Pittsburgh last night with that win, not letting our guards down. And this was a chess match. You know, at times you could you could feel the experience of Winnipeg also, and their their how lethal they are. They outchanced us lightly in the first, again lightly in the second. But we were always there. We were a part of it. We had some great A chances too, and uh, just it was uh, it was a it was a weekend, you know, where we needed to decide how we were going to go out west, still still reaching or not. And we are reaching, and that's that's a lot of fun. And you know, we want to keep building on this this feeling right now and uh, keep the picture small and go back to work on, on Tuesday. What can you say about Kyle for a guy who's really, you know, found his role on this, this, this line and has had, had trouble scoring and playing up to his contract, but to produce the way he did today and has been? Well, Kyle Ocpozo has just been such an unbelievable leader. He's, he's uh, the quiet support system that Jack needs with the experience and wisdom of not only his 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 years in the National Hockey League, but his understanding of Buffalo and what we need to do here and how we need to manage things, you know, and to see him have that success tonight on the ice, you know, after going down with some pain in the first period where you were questionable whether he was going to continue in the game, you know, he had a little bit of pain off the hit and he just bit down and finished the game and scored the two goals. And you're, of course, pleased because that line in general, Larson, Gergensen's and you know, and Ocposo have been playing against some of the best lines in the National Hockey League here of late. And, you know, they give us that defensive stability. But the way they're chipping in offensively, whether it was the first goal in Pittsburgh or tonight with the two goals, I mean, it's just, you know, really outstanding for us as a, as a group trying to develop a culture to have leaders like that, all three of them, just playing the right way. They're doing the right things on the right side of the puck. They're such an example for our young players on and off the ice. So, uh, you know, this is really a, a special day for them. And, you know, we can enjoy it here for a few minutes and then it's back to work. I know it's not your decision, Ralph, but would you prefer to have that group stay intact, you know, by the end of the day tomorrow to have that same group? Yeah, that's, you know, that's a difficult, difficult question. I think, I think as long as the trade window is yeah. open in the National Hockey League, uh, you know, you're always trying to improve as a club and if management you know, I'm in close connection, of course, makes decisions that make us a, lo a better club in our eyes and with the experience we have, then we have to do it. You know, this isn't, this is a tough business and I'm, you know, you know, you see how we react when players fall out because of injuries. We just plow forward with who we have and we don't speak about them much and it would be the same. But of course, I, uh, I enjoy the group very much every day. It's a, it's a fantastic place to, to be a, a coach. How did you see? How did you see Jonas utilize his time between sessions to prepare? Yeah, I mean, we spoke about it before the game. I mean, he he really managed that game against Anaheim really well, and the lessons of the game. And what we liked about him, I, I tell you the truth, there was no difference between him half an hour before the game today than half an hour before the game yesterday or the games he didn't play. He's just a very well centered individual as a person you know he 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 knows what he's good at and he works hard in practice he's been extremely receptive to the coaching in rochester and now here with mike bales and this is not lucky what's happening here we, we really feel uh, uh a pro uh, a high level professional and uh this was this was truly an exciting game for him to build on but i think what he's been doing since since his last start is just working really really hard on and off the ice and uh, he continues to do that physically. He's in the gym as much as anybody here. 
and uh, you know we've got we've got a we've got an exciting future together with JJ. Mike Bales has a, has came to this franchise with a reputation. All of our skills have gotten better. Hutton struggled, has found his game and gotten better. Yep. Johansson's gotten better. What's the common thread of why he's able to get through to goals? He's very calm and has a clear plan. Just a, such a clear plan with with the goalies. He works individually with them in depth. He's on his laptop whenever we're not having meetings and he prepares meticulously for every single meeting he has with every goalie and that that's coming out of practices and games so it, it's uh you know he, he he also which i find so important in the coaching world today uh, adds a motivational edge to everything he does it's not just about x and o's and not just about positional play or you know aggressiveness and how you play the puck it's also he, he spends a lot of time on the human side with these guys and works that edge and you know, I have the same with Donnie with the forwards or Smitty with the with the D-men, and that's that's the culture we want. You know, but he he really has the entire package under control. But more important, there's a clear plan behind it, and he uh, he 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 goes through it rain or shine. There's not a lot of ups and downs in our coaching room, and you know, Mike's much more than a goaltender coach. He he brings such valuable information down between periods, and uh, just adds to our room every day. Right, yeah. As you said, you're in close touch with management and Jason through all this. Where, where will you be doing tomorrow? Will you be upstairs chatting with them? If yeah. they need you, will you be around? Yeah, I'm just permanently in, in connection. I mean, the beauty, beautiful thing with technology is is we are always always connected, and we'll just see how it naturally evolves. But uh, I'm, I'm certainly here in Buffalo, but I think my wife deserves a nice dinner tomorrow somewhere. But otherwise, I'm available for, for whatever the Sabres need. Yeah. How much impact? Will this weekend, if any, how much impact, if any, will this weekend have on what happens before the deadline? I'm sure it's important that we that we had success here, and uh, you know the hunger for for what uh, still very small ar margins is just so exciting to fight for. I mean, we we all spoke about wanting to have meaningful games. Well, if anybody thought these two games weren't meaningful, they don't get what's going on here, and they were extremely meaningful. And the guys are learning how to play meaningful games and that's what the goal of the season is really as many of these as possible so we have to keep it simple keep it small and keep focused on on the next task but uh, these these two games on the weekend certainly meant a lot at this time performance yesterday how much do you feel you carried that over into this game well definitely having a game like uh, yesterday gives a a uh, nice confidence boost for uh, today. I think uh, we did a pretty good job. We had uh, some breakdowns, but uh, overall we uh, we did well. What do you think it says about the response following the disappointing Ottawa game this weekend in, in both these games? Oh no, it's huge. You know, we're, uh, we're still in the race, uh, closing the gap and uh, getting these uh, two wins was, was uh, big for us. What's been the biggest difference as of late winning five to six? What's that? What's been the biggest difference as of late with you guys winning five to six? Um, you know, just playing simple, uh, playing our structure defensively, and uh, uh, as I said, playing simple. I think that's a key. For you, what, what's it like kind of seeing Kyle make the impact, especially offensively, that he has the last ten games or so? Oh no, it's awesome. You know, he's he's been great for us uh, all year. Uh, previous years, he's a he's a role model in the locker room. You know, he's one of the guys I look up to. So uh, it's great to see him do that, and uh, it's great to play with him. What is it about your line that has? How have you guys acquired such great chemistry on that line? I think we just play uh, simple hockey. I think we uh, all play pretty similar hockey, and uh, it's easy to read, uh, read each other uh, when you play kind of the same game. With 20 games left, how good does it feel to, to be in this yeah, six points behind Toronto? Um, you know, it's, uh, we go day by day, uh, point by point. Uh, we know every game here is uh, huge for us uh, down the stretch, so uh, we just focus on the next game. What impact, if any, do you think the four-point weekend might have on what management does with the deadline looming? No, I mean, it's uh, not up for me to uh, talk. That's uh, up to them to talk, so uh, what happens, happens. Most impressive for you about Jonas's uh, performance today? No, you know, overall the game, uh, he was confident. Uh, he made some huge saves. You know, the, the game could have been uh, a lot different if he didn't uh, have those uh, huge stops for us. But uh, he was confident, calm, uh, just a NHL goalie there.
good does that feel to go out and get two goals and win that game with those two? Yeah, it feels good. Um, it's a huge win for us. Uh, Gritty definitely didn't have our best tonight, but we found a way to win and um, sign of a maturing team for sure. What did, so what did it show you about this team this weekend that you got four points you desperately needed? Yeah, I, I think uh, everybody understands the situation that we're in and um, I think we've won five out of six now and, and we just want to keep this momentum rolling. Obviously, we're, we're going out west with a really tough road trip, but um, as long as we keep our game simple and work, uh, we're going to be okay. I feel like you guys really locked it down the last 10 minutes or so. I think you, you really limited chances there. Yeah, the last 10 I thought was really good. Um, you know, guys did a great job in front of Jonas, and he uh, he played stellar to keep us in it in that second period. And, um, yeah, I like the way that we played the last 10. These last 10 games for you, how do you feel about your game, the, just the consistency? Yeah, I mean, I feel good. It's... Uh, it's been fun playing with those two guys most of the year. Um, you know, they they do a lot of the work, and, and we seem to found some offensive chemistry of late. And um, you know, just can't give enough credit to those two guys. Um, you know, make it easy to play. How much satisfaction do you get considering all the things that you've had to go through, injuries, serious injuries, and to have, you know to have a game like this and be yeah. a big part of a win like that's got to be special for you. Yeah, I mean, it's fun anytime you can contribute, and and you know. Winning is a lot better, so um, yeah, it's it's something that uh, you know had definitely had some ups and downs in my career, but um, just want to keep pushing forward. I feel like I'm I'm playing some pretty good hockey, so I uh, just want to continue. Do you think it'll have, this weekend will have any impact one way or the other on what management might do? That's for uh, that's for them to decide. You know, obviously. Uh, um, I think we made we made Jason's job a little bit more difficult, which um, that's what our goal was. So, um, you know, we uh, we like the group that we have in here, and um, I think that we've shown some resiliency that that has been missing in the past, and and um, shows that we're we're turning the page. So um, we're looking forward to. Uh, to whatever team that we have on Tuesday and, and going out west and getting some wins. You guys have gone through a lot of tough times here several years. You know, you've got your 20 games up. What does it feel like to be in this time? It's fun. Got to win games. Got to win. This is our playoffs right now. Um, I think everybody in this room knows what we have to do big picture, but uh, as long as we keep taking it one game at a time, you know, it's it's fun when it's fun when you have a game like today, you don't play your best, and but you know you need two points and you find a way to get it. So um, huge testament to all the guys in the room, and, and we're looking forward to playing some meaningful hockey. How impressive that Jonas gets for a couple of weeks and come up with that kind of effort? Yeah, it's huge, it's huge. Um, like I said, he played stellar in the second period. We did not have our legs. Um, and we weren't really making the, the right decisions with the puck, and he really covered up all of our mistakes. So um, it, was, it was such a big game for him and, and huge first win for him and then huge win for us. A uh, great feeling. Uh, it was just, I don't know, last uh, last period went by pretty slow, it felt like. <laughs> but it was it was nice to hear when the buster went off, for sure. What was it like, especially in the second period, the way you were you know, sharp in the crease? They had a lot of good chances. You were on your toes and making the saves. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just sticking to the plan you got. Uh, try to stay relaxed and don't, like, stay, stay in the moment. That's just what you got to do. And sometimes it... <laughs> you have a little luck too, so yeah, I don't know. It's been two weeks for you. What has been going through your mind and what have you been working on most in these two weeks since you last got in a game? Uh, just trying to, like you got to have a little extra focus in practice, for, of course, when like when you're not playing that often. So just staying sharp, working on the details, I mean, staying ready for the opportunity when it comes. Like you got to stay ready if, if the opportunity shows. So that's what I've been trying to do. Is this one of the longest stretches you've ever gone without playing? I don't know that. <laughs> I, I don't know if I ever remember that, but it might be. I'm not sure. How much did you take from the last two periods of the Anaheim game? I mean, obviously it's a tough start. You stopped the penalty shot. Second, and third go well. How important was that going into all that practice work? Uh, the way that well, it finish. was uh, too bad we couldn't get the win that the game. But you know, like I said, you just gotta. Stick to stick to the plan when something like that happens, and uh, it went well after that. I mean, after the tough start, so sticking to the plan works. So you just that's what I've been trying to do. What's the biggest thing Mike tries to get you to do on a daily basis? Uh, 
it's a little over and over again, but just staying with the habits, really, it's, it's, not, it's just that simple, really, to, because all those, the skating, the tracking, the patience, all that's got to come natural when the game comes. You just got to make sure that happens, and it does when you have good habits in practice, so that's the biggest thing we've been doing. Compared to your first couple of starts, did you feel any more steady, calm, especially early on when you were making some saves and a lot of pucks were hitting you? Uh, I don't know. I kind of had a good feeling that it starts too. Uh, it's it hard. It's hard to say if there's a difference. I like the like. When you say your focus is the same, your preparation is the same. Sometimes you have tough starts. Sometimes you have good starts, and you just gotta have to accept both of those and be ready to go. Whatever happens. What was it like the way the last ten minutes seemed to be locked down in front of you? The defensive effort there was, you know, super. Those last ten minutes. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Really, it's. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really thankful for the guys to, for stepping up like that. I don't think we give up any shot, uh, yeah. really, the last nine, ten minutes. So that's just unbelievable the way they stepped up there for me and and for the rest of the team to get the win. I mean, it's a big, it's a big uh, game for us going into the road trip here. So uh, everyone really stepped up in the third, and just really happy to be a part of that.